What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, we're gonna do a little one year review for you guys on the old uh, ding ding out there. A lot of you guys ask me, how's it been treating you? I'm looking for a new toy hauler. I wanna get something for the summertime. You know, damn, you know? Um, what should I buy? What do you recommend? Well, a couple things guys. Well first, let's go take it over to the, to the old ding ding over there. There she is. Old ding dings in. So, a couple things guys. What, what I would do, some of you guys ask me, what do you think, Eddie? Well, what are you gonna do with it? You know, are you gonna go into the snow? Are you, are you gonna hit some weather? If you're gonna hit some weather, I'll be honest with you guys, I will not go with an attitude. They're not considered a four season, you know, trailer, travel trailer, toy haul, whatever you wanna call it. Um, you know, they don't have a sealed underbelly. The insulation is horrible, to be honest with you. Uh, they don't have dual pane windows, none of that stuff. This. Is strictly for like in my opinion desert and that's pretty much all I do and that's why I chose it and I'll give you a couple reasons why I, I picked the attitude over the other ones and bam we're in now so a lot of you guys uh, if you like I said if you're going to use it to you know go snow hit some weather don't get an attitude my thing with the attitude is I liked it because they sort of focus more on desert. So like when you look at the momentum, the momentum, it's nice. It's got like the seating area, like right over here. You got your TV, your kitchen. That's about it. There's not a lot of sitting room in it um, where this thing is, it's open. You know, you, you got a, a TV here, you got a TV over there. You know, they made this more for desert, for party trailer. Uh, if you're like, just like you and the wife or you and the girlfriend or you and whoever, um, you know, want something. Now, I'm not going to say better quality, but I, I should say more for the four seasons, I would not go with attitude. Now, here's the thing why I'm not talking about quality. So, I've had a lot of people say, Eddie, I have an attitude trailer. I hate it. It sucks. The worst trailer ever. I got people that say, Eddie, I have a momentum. Uh, my momentum has been in the shop for four months. Sucks. The worst trailer I've ever bought. You know, I've had people that have given me trailer names I've never even heard of and have had the worst luck with them, guys. So, this review that I'm going to do is what the luck that I have had with this trailer. I'm not going to compare it with an, another trailer. Uh, I, I will show you, you know, like the Momentum. I know has a sealed belly. This one doesn't. Me, I didn't care for that because, like I said, I'm just using this for desert. And in the summertime, we go to camp land, you know, Thunderbolt races. That's it. I'm not taking this in the snow. Uh, you know, I'm not taking this in like below zero temperature. So for me to have the dual pane windows, really not that important. But here's one thing that sucks in the summertime. So in, in the summertime, if you notice these windows, I got these on them right here. See these little like foil looking things right here. Reason for that is because right here, see that? Reason for that is because these windows are i don't know I, I don't i don't want to say so crappy but they're just like so generic like if it's a hundred outside that window is 120 degrees so it got really hot in here uh and when we use this in the summer so that's why i put those here they're not on this one well because i can just put the awning out and uh, give me some shade now my overall experience with this guys i got a knock on wood well, it's not really wood i don't know what yeah maybe some plywood over here but um I have not had a horrible experience uh, with this trailer. As you guys know, I had the slide that stopped working. The, the, the wire, when I was putting the slide in and out, ripped the uh, wire. There's been a lot of stuff under the toy hauler wiring-wise that I have done uh, to sort of, I think, prevent a problem. Now, I don't know if it was going to be a problem, but the way I saw some stuff routed, I rerouted because I saw this could be a problem eventually. With the refrigerator, I can't say I've had an issue with this. Uh, the one thing I do do is in the wintertime, when, because I know we're always going to the desert, I just leave it on. I don't know, you know, if that has anything to do with it. Um, but other than that, guys, there's little stuff, like for example, this. Check this out that just comes right off just like that so little stuff like that i've been fixing uh stuff has been loose like i just found this you know loose uh quality you know obviously it's just the quality is crap in this trailer but 
again, you know, this is not a high-end trailer. It's just a little party attitude trailer, you know, for you and the boys or whoever to hang out in and party. And so it's not quality. You know, the build quality is just is not all there. Um, but other than that, I got to be honest, I have not had any, you know, real issues with this trailer. Uh, slides or this slide, the big one here, the main one, has been working fine. No issues. Now that I said that, I'm probably going to have an issue with it, but hopefully I don't. Other than that, guys, everything's worked. Uh, generators worked. The, I don't know, TVs are all working good. There's really, you know, I don't know. I haven't, uh, haven't really had any major, major issues. I will say uh, what I have done is I added an extra solar and I added an inverter. So I don't have to be plugged into a generator to watch TV or do anything like that. Uh, one thing I will say, guys, though, I wish Attitude, I mean, my Weekend Warrior had a bigger compartment than this. I wish they would give you a little more storage. You know, I understand it goes all the way deep, you know, into there. You guys can see that's the inverter right there. But uh, it goes all the way, then it turns all the way in there. Uh, they don't even give you a light in here either. You know, I mean, I stuck this, you know, my little own light right here so I can see. So there's, you know, little things like that, guys, pros and cons uh, to this stuff. But in, in all honesty, I, I cannot say I've had issues with this. Uh, it's been a good trailer. You know, it's it's done. It hasn't leave me, uh, left me, I don't know, with an issue out in the desert or something. But one thing I will say, guys, if you are purchasing a new toy hauler or travel trailer, whatever you want to call it, what I would do, like what I did, is I pretty much, I camped in my driveway. You guys, some of you guys saw it, recall, when I bought this, parked it here, turned everything on, fridge on, pretended like I was camping, uh, put the slides in, put the slides out, you know, pretend like, oh, I was somewhere for a week, okay, let's go, to see if I'm going to have an issue before I go on a trip, and I knew I was, uh, you know, before I go out to the desert, like, imagine this, if this bedroom slide, that closet slide got stuck when I was out in the desert, Nothing worked. Manual override, none of that worked. I would have been pretty much screwed. Well, I can't say screwed. I mean, I would have said stay in the desert. No biggie. But um, I would have been, you know, just screwed. The, the slide would not go in. And we, they tried pushing it. We tried overriding it. We tried everything. Because there was no power to that top motor, there was no way that was going to go in. Like, there, there was no way of freeing it up, you know. So if you guys get a toy hauler, and I'm not saying... I recommend an attitude. I don't recommend uh, an attitude for number one, couple reasons. Number one being the rain me main reason is their customer service sucks. Uh, when you go call Eclipse and out in, I think they're Riverside or something, uh, they're completely clueless. They go through managers like socks. You know, every time I call, oh, he doesn't work for the company no more. Well, how about this person? Oh, he don't work for the company no more. You know, um, so I, I can't say their customer service is good. Um, I can say I've had good luck with the trailer. I can say, you know, uh, everything has been working. You know, the only real issue I had was a slide. I'm trying to think. I haven't had any other issues, guys. And change-wise, if you're wondering, you know, what I changed, I didn't really change too much. I added a uh, second lithium battery. I Oh, here's a good thing for you guys. So they come with these screws right here. I would get rid of them. Um, I ended up just putting rivets in here because the screws kept coming loose. And I also added a bracket. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see here. An extra. So I added one of these to hold it because this part right here, guys, would just sit and, and flop. This part would literally flop. And this is what happened. Because, little stuff like this, because of, you know, just their poor design, it flopped so bad. See, here's the other bracket I put right there. I don't know if you can see that right there. This thing would flop so bad right here. It ended up flopping. This was the second day I got it. It ended up cracking right here. See that? So I hate that. Um, but I do have a new panel. And what's nice, it's only this side right here. Now, I have not put it on yet because it's just desert season. And I don't like to do work like this when it's desert season. So once uh, season's almost over here, I will pull the molding off, you know, scrape the molding under here, uh, scrape under there, because you got to scrape all this off and this whole thing comes down, and I'll reinstall it. But I will say, guys, I am looking at new trailers. I look at new trailers, you know, almost every day. Um, 
My next one, no, it will not be an attitude. It will not even be a momentum. Uh, number one, just the, the, I'm looking for something with some good quality. And I, I'm not even, I, and I just look. I don't, I'm not, you know, if I find one that's a good deal, um, you know, I'll pull the trigger. But the problem is the toy hauler that I'm looking at, uh, brand new, they're like 180 grand, 100, almost 200 grand. Uh, the brand is called Lux. And if you look it up, it's L-U-X-E. If you look them up, uh, I mean, they make their own frames. I mean, they are top-notch quality. So if I'm gonna go spend the money on a momentum, you know, at 70, 80 grand, I might as well go spend, you know, and go, go pretty much full bore and spend the money and go get good quality and go get this Lux. Uh, I wouldn't get a massive one, you know, but that's going to be my next toy hauler is gonna be one of those. And I like it because they are full body paints, uh, full body paint, these things, they're not full body paint. They're just stickers and I don't know, some painted fiberglass, you know? I mean, that's that's it. They're not really, uh, not real, like I said, the quality guys is not, not all that on this thing. This is like, I would say your starter toy hauler, your beginner's toy hauler right here. And when I talk quality guys, I mean, it's just little things like this. Like, look at this. It doesn't even look like the slide is closed. Well, it is closed in, you know, Attitude's mind, but you know this this should be sitting flush you know clean uh it does not you know same goes you know for this one i mean this thing looks like look at this gap this thing looks like it needs to be close well i mean it is so just little little tiny stuff like that is it a big deal no no big deal but that's what i mean by you know quality of this trailer also guys stay tuned we're getting rid of uh these hokey dokey leveling load levelers or Whatever the hell they call these jacks, they're a pile of crap. They suck. So we're getting rid of those. Stay tuned. We're actually putting uh, real jacks on this thing. So I will be putting the hydraulic pump in there. Uh, we're going to put one. Pretty much I'm going to cut that, take the plasma cutter, chop those off, and they will come straight down. Each will support 7,500. I'm putting four. So it'll be 30,000 pounds it will support. One will be there, and the other will be... They say in the directions as close as back of the tire as possible. So, you know, wherever there, I'm gonna do a full install video if you guys wanna know how to put some real uh, leveling jacks on this thing, but that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned for that. And before you guys ask me, Eddie, why is your tire look wet? Uh, it's not wet, guys, it's armor all. I know, I take my armor all to a whole new level. I like my tires shiny and armor all up. And why? Well, because it looks good and I don't, go mudding in it so tires stay looking clean and if you're wondering what i am using and how they look so shiny look at that damn i actually use uh nick's product genesis detailing this is whoa this is uh nick's new line right here this op stuff i use the op tire shine tire and plastic dressing and i use there this is the main one these i like this guys because I like to keep the leather conditioned. Right here, the interior uh, conditioner and protection. Look at that. So this is just their dash guard, uh, basically. Uh, to cut, it, cut it short and sweet for you. And then they got their uh, ceramic sealant. This uh, I use because my uh, truck is ceramic coated, but you're gonna have Nick about, ask Nick about this if you can use it. I don't know uh, if you can use it if you're, um, Vehicle is not ceramic coated. I'm not sure on that part, but you can DM Genesis Detailing and he'll let you know, you know, everything about that. But that's all I got for you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.